Hi, I'm Chris Denny with Attention to Detail. Detail-oriented people tend to approach tasks in a fairly systematic way. And there are three main parts of that. They tend to plan, they visualize the outcome, and they maintain a high degree of focus on the task. So by planning, what I mean is that either subconsciously or consciously, depending on the nature of the task, they essentially have a checklist in mind for what is needed for the task, for the steps involved, for the tools they need. They plan what they're about to do. The second part is they visualize the outcome or the result. Again, they may not do it so consciously or subconsciously and write it down or all of that. It depends on the complexity of the task. But they have in their minds the end result and what they expect that end result to look like. So they essentially can set up that right or wrong mindset, which is so important to being detail-oriented. The third part is they have a high degree of focus, which, which helps them be in the moment when they're performing the task or, or doing the job. And by being in the moment, they are able to catch the details that essentially deviate from the right part of that right or wrong mindset. So those are the three main components uh, of the systematic approach detail-oriented people take to the things they do, uh, the tasks they perform, and, and the jobs they do. And those, again, are they plan, they visualize, and they focus. Here's something important that I want you to take away from this. These are things you can do. You can plan, visualize, and focus on any task you perform so that your outcome is that of someone who has a higher degree of attention to detail. You can become a more detail-oriented person by, by doing these three things with the tasks and jobs you take on.